In today's video, we're gonna go over seven things that make a good surgeon. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'm a third year ophthalmology resident, bringing you along on my journey through medicine and life and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in anything about that, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you seven of the common characteristics that I've found that make good surgeons that I've noticed among surgeons who are very good. I'm not claiming to be one of them, but it's something that I've noticed in the people that I have found to be quite good surgeons and some common personality traits and kind of the way they approach medicine and surgery. So first of all, how do you know when someone is a good surgeon? What does that mean? Well, not to sound cliche, but when you see it, you just kind of know. It does require some level of experience in doing the surgery yourself, but within the medical world, there really is just kind of a consensus among physicians and people that are kind of in that space about who is the really good surgeons. So the first one is gonna be a growth mindset. Now, when I say having a growth mindset, what I'm talking about is having a mindset when you approach something, whether it be surgery or not, of always thinking you can get better. It's easy to fall into a trap, especially with the egos that can fly around within the surgical community, to think that you are so good at something that you really don't need to get better at it. Or conversely, you might just learn a way of doing something in residency and then really have no motivation or no desire to learn new ways or to better your skills. You think that you're just good enough, and so you're just gonna kinda ride and coast on that. They have a desire to keep getting better. So the second one is pretty obvious and pretty simple. It's just physical mastery of the surgeries. You have to be physically competent and have control of your hands in such a way that you can do the surgery. It comes with experience, it comes with time, but it also comes with practice and practicing your surgeries, practicing your suturing, practice the movements, holding the instruments, that kind of thing. And when you watch somebody that's really good at surgery, you can just tell that they are in total and complete control of their hands and the instruments. They are in control of the way things are happening, the way things are moving, and not being controlled or just kind of reacting to what's going on within the surgery. They are creating what's happening. So the third one is to be so well acquainted with anatomy that you can almost superimpose like a anatomical drawing or or a representation of something from a picture onto the patient as you were doing the surgery. So that applies with things like oculoplastics for me, and it applies with cataract surgery too in terms of visualizing the way things are gonna happen based on the anatomy that you're seeing. So you have to know your anatomy, you have to be well acquainted with it, and you really have to be able to kind of understand the way the tissues interact and be able to see and dissect within planes and that kind of thing. So really having a mastery of anatomy is gonna be key. The fourth characteristic is that really good surgeons are calm under pressure. There are times in the operating room when things are not going the way you want them to go or unexpected things happen that are completely out of the surgeon's control, but it's how you react to those and how level-headed you are and how well you're able to keep your composure in those situations that determine not only how well the patient is gonna do because of your response, but also kind of your own sanity. So when something starts to get a little funky or just isn't going right, whatever it may be, how do you respond? Do you take control of the situation? Do you step back, assess what's happening, and then react appropriately? Or do you just kind of like lose it and freak out and start kind of panicking? Good surgeons definitely don't panic. They are very calm, very composed. The best surgeons that I've seen operate are some of the most composed people in those situations. And that obviously is gonna help. It never helps to overreact. It never helps to freak out in those kind of situations, whether it be surgery or anything else. Overreacting, freaking out does not help. So the fifth characteristic is to have confidence. Really good surgeons are confident in what they're doing. And like I said earlier, they are in control of what's happening. They are manipulating the tissues. They are having the surgery progress in the way that they want it to and not reacting to the way the surgery is progressing despite what they want to happen. Being confident, being assertive, and doing the things that need to happen and not being timid or shy and just knowing that you are capable of doing them and then executing on it, that's something that really good surgeons have is they are confident and you gotta walk the line between confidence and being egotistical or arrogant because that can be dangerous. But being confident is absolutely essential to being a really good surgeon. The sixth characteristic that I've noticed that really good surgeons have in common is that they are efficient. Now, when it comes to efficiency, efficiency is not to be confused with just being fast at a surgery. I had one attending tell me, and I like this a lot, he said, fast isn't fast, smooth is fast. And that's true. 
Being smooth will make you an efficient surgeon. You don't want to be trying to do the steps of surgery fast in and of themselves. You want to do them well, efficiently, in one time. You don't want to have to repeat things. You don't want to do unnecessary things. And that's something I've noticed about the really good surgeons that I've worked with, is that they do something and they do it right once. It's not that they're flying through a surgery because they're fast. It's just that everything they do is purposeful, efficient, and it works and doesn't have to be repeated. So being an efficient surgeon is something you should strive for, not because of the speed that you're able to kind of increase or do phacos faster, do your cataract surgeries faster, do any of your surgeries faster, but because it's better for the patient if you can do it faster, if you spend less time in their eye, less time under anesthesia, it's going to be better all around. So strive to be an efficient surgeon, not a fast surgeon. So the seventh tip and the bonus one is really, really good surgeons are pushing the boundaries with innovation. Surgeries didn't always exist. Someone had to come up with surgery. Someone had to come up with surgical techniques and surgical instruments and kind of help propel surgery forward. The really good surgeons that I've worked with are pushing those boundaries and they are trying to find better ways to do surgeries. They are innovating in the field of surgery that makes your mind work it makes it basically come up with ways to problem solve and try to be better it goes back to the growth mindset innovating in surgery is something that's later on down the line when you can actually do the surgeries well. It's something that comes later, but the really good surgeons that I've seen are pushing the boundaries of the way surgery is done. All right guys, so those are seven characteristics that I found to be prevalent among really good surgeons. Consider if you are those things, if you're trying to become a surgeon or if you are lacking in some areas and if maybe you need to improve in some, and then just be on the lookout when you're operating with people, see if they embody some of those characteristics. If you guys liked the video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.